Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Just give me one moment. Let me share my screen. Okay, there we go. One moment. Okay. So thank you so much for joining, guys. Today is your last class, right? From this level, level um, pre intermedio, verdad? Así de que thank you so much for joining today. Uh, I know that you have already finished, you know, all the, the exercises in every part of the platform, and I'm so glad that you, you know, made it so far. Los felicito, pues, porque han logrado, verdad, terminar toda la parte de la plataforma, así que I'm super happy for you. And what else? Well, today we're going to have a quick review on the exam, right, and just a the last points okay from each uh from section number five which is the one that we are about to finish okay but before i'm going to pass the attendance right so bear with me while i locate your names in the list just give me one moment there you are so andrea esther acosta hernandez Andrea Estera Costa Hernández, eh, Carolina Griselda Carzadilla Arias, eh, David Enrique Rivera Calderón, David Enrique Rivera Calderón, eh, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega, Edwin Giovanni Hernández Laínez, Edwin. Present teacher. Gracias, Edwin. Edwin Orlando Chávez Romero. Present teacher. Gracias. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fernando José Martínez Chávez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Geraldine Lisette Pilleda Chacón. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Efem Bernabarrete Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Irvin Ezequiel Martinez Calleja. Present teacher. Gracias. Jenny Elizabeth Hernández Maldonado. Eh, Jenny Margarita Maeda Barrientos. José Oscar Herrera Sanabria. Carla Patricia Herrera Zavala. Present, Miss. Gracias, Carla Patricia. Catherine Marielos Meléndez Villegas. Present, Miss. Gracias. María Lidia Cañas de Cortés. Present, teacher. Gracias. Merci Esther Blanco Piera. Eh, Natalie Cristina Roque de Cervando. Present, teacher. Gracias. Norma Leticia García de Canjura. Present teacher. Gracias. Patricia Lisette Romero de Ramírez. Present. Gracias. Reina Isabel Martínez Navas. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Eh, Wendy Beatriz Toledo de Rodesto. Present, Miss. Gracias, chicos. Muy amables. Thank you very much. Y deme un momentito porque me dio error. Es que se queda cargando. 
Ahí está, hoy sí, ya cargó. So guys, let's move on to this part, which is 5.13. Okay, we are, you know, about to finish uh, the whole um, the whole section, right? So in this section, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and these sounds in verbs with the vowels that follow. Because sometimes, um, well, we are not native speakers. Nosotros no somos hablantes nativos. Así que we need to learn those tricks. Pero hay que aprender un poquito de esos como, eh, digamos, tips, ¿verdad? Para poder mejorar. Entonces, eh, this is a, a very important eh, point because sometimes we don't know how to sound natural. I don't know if it had happened to you, but in my case, if you ask me, teacher, and how can you how can you improve your pronunciation? How can you improve your listening? ¿Cómo podemos mejorar la pronunciación? I'll be honest, but I have two things that help me. Pero todos somos diferentes. Yo tengo dos cosas que me ayudan a mí, pero todos tenemos cosas que nos gustan diferentes y somos bien distintos. But you can try. Pero ustedes pueden intentar varias cosas, ¿verdad? For example, in my case. When it comes to pronunciation, ¿verdad? Ya con, con respecto a pronunciación, lo que yo siento que me ayudó muchísimo, pero extremadamente un montón, ¿verdad? It's music. But music from the 90s, 80s, ¿verdad? 70s, si le gustan los 70, ¿verdad? 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, ¿verdad? Tener la lyric de la canción, cantarla y escucharla, ¿verdad? Estamos haciendo dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Estamos practicando pronunciación y estamos a, a, este, mejorando nuestro, o limpiando en nuestro oído, ¿verdad? Eh, polishing, you know, um, eh, that, you know, listening skill. Entonces, algo que aprendemos a través de la música, bueno, hoy en día, pues la música es bien diferente, las letras son bien diferentes, ¿verdad? Casi que lo mismo se dice en toda la canción, no hay una variedad de vocabulario, entonces por eso recomiendo que esas música un poco más eh, de hacia atrás, ¿verdad? Porque tiene más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Hay más como, pues muchas cosas que usted puede aprender a pronunciar, etc. Entonces, this eh, trick, you know, with link and final T and D sounds at the in verbs, you know, with vowels that follow, it's important because pretty much we're doing something that is called like that. Se llama así, linking, uniones, right? Si una palabra termina en una consonante y la que viene empieza con un sonido de vocal, entonces muy probablemente podemos aprovechar ahí para hacer la unión. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to the video, right? I'm going to share it with you. Okay. Just let me make sure that I, oh, perdón, me traje esto en vez de esto. Just let me make sure I'm sharing the sound. Just bear with me. Ah, y la segunda cosa, perdón, les decía que me, me ayudaron dos cosas. La segunda cosa es reading, la lectura. Eh, Marce, pero, ¿y cómo si yo no sé? Pero empiece por algo súper básico, súper, súper basic, ¿ok? And then you will get used to it. Luego se va a ir acostumbrando y luego va a empezar... A leer y a leer y a leer, ¿verdad? Obvio, eh, pam, tiene que ir aprendiendo vocabulario, etcétera, pero de los libros se va agarrando. If you have, you know, books for kids, ¿verdad? Eh, hoy en día en las librerías venden libros de inglés para niños. So you can start with that. Puede comenzar con eso. And then you start moving on, ¿verdad? Let's listen to uh, what the instructor has to say. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Mm, wait. But. No es ese el fine point 13. No lo trae. Bueno. No lo incluyo acá. Ese es aquí donde nos quedamos ayer, personality traits. Vale, lo voy a explicar yo entonces, no problem, ok? So, but, luego me regreso a los personality traits. Um, de mi momento. ¿Será que me metí al curso incorrecto? Creo que eso fue. Give me one moment.
Me está cargando, chicos. Be patient with me. I see. Sí, había ingresado que no era. I'm sorry. Aquí está. I see. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to the video. Hi. In this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, let's listen to it one more time and then we're going to do the examples. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, let's go back here a little, okay? So it says, have you ever tasted goat cheese, right? So what will be the answer to this question? Okay, it says that you have to answer, okay, in an affirmative way, okay? So have you ever tasted goat, goat cheese? What will be the answer? No, be. no, I haven't, haven't tasted. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it, it's a true sentence, verdad? Si usted es, es honesto y dice no, no, I haven't. Pero el ejercicio es que tenemos que decir que sí para poder eh, eh, encontrar, verdad? El, ese linking que vamos a hacer entre el t sound, t sound at the end and vowel sound. Entonces yo voy a decir yes, I have. Eh, I taste, taste it, right? Yes, I have tasted once. Una vez lo probé, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo voy a hacer yo el link en aquí, eh, Marce? I'm going to put these two together. Yes, I have tasted once. Ok. Y allí, chicos, ustedes han encontrado una clave. ¿Verdad? Para poder pronunciarlo de una mejor forma. Yo no decigo, yo no voy a decir, eh, I tested it. No, ¿verdad? Yes, I have tasted once. Right? Tasted once. What about question number two? Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, right? I have tried it eh, once or twice, ¿verdad? Dos veces. Yes, I have tried it once. Entonces voy a unir estos dos sonidos. Yes, I have tried it one, twice. Tried it, right? I have tried it twice, okay? Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you brought your dictionary today?
sería, yes, I brought it. Ok, sí lo traje, ¿verdad? Yes, I brought it. Ok, I put these two sounds together. Yes, I brought it, right? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, right? I have read it. Oh, perdón. I have read it. Ok, ya lo leí. Yes, I have read it. Read it. So I need to put together these two sounds, right? The T sound and T sound plus the vowel sound that comes right after it, right? Yes, I have tasted once. Tasted. Yes, I have tried it twice. Tried it. Yes, I brought it. Brought it. Yes, I have read it read it, right? So all what you have to do is to put those two sounds together, right? To sound more natural, okay? That's the um, the main point, right? To sound more natural. Do you have questions about this point? Questions? Is it clear? Tengo una pregunta. Yes. ¿Por qué en la número 3 solo dice yes I broke it y no yes I have broke it? Oh yeah, you can say yes I have brought it. Uh -huh. Both. Si lo traje o si lo he traído. Cualquiera. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes I brought it ah, or yes sorry. I have brought Gracias. it. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Anyone else? that has questions about this point? Questions? Uh, Lydia, tell me. Uh, teacher, y si fuera uh, en negativo o solamente las respuestas así en afirmativo? No, no. I mean, if you want to write it down in negative, you can go ahead and do it. Just for the sake of the exercise, you know, I just did it like this, right? I haven't, but you can say, no, I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't tasted, right? No, I haven't tasted yet. Todavía no, ¿verdad? No, I haven't tasted yet. No lo he probado aún, right? Remember that uh, the, the change, right? Or the pronunciation takes place here. Aquí es donde va. So it doesn't affect the rest. I mean, I just wanted to have them you know, uh, in the affirmative way, so we can add more elements. Para agregar more, más elementos, pero sí puede ser en negativa también, sin ningún problema. Definitivamente. Okay. Any other question? No? Okay. Very good. I'm going to move from here. Yes, I've cut it. No, I have. Okay, and as you can see, this is the last part of the whole section, okay? And now we're going to do a review, okay? We're going to have a review and we're going to use the final exam to do so, okay? We're going to uh, complete the final exam too. So it says listening, that's in letter A, right? Listening, instructions, listen to the conversation and click the correct information, right? So here you have, four different items, okay? So you have different uh, options, right? Emily is short and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Or Emily is fairly short and about 25. Two, Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Or Steve is only 29, uh, years old and handsome. And three, the thief was short, had a white beard, and she was uh, and was elderly. The thief had uh, had on, I'm sorry, a black shirt and glasses. The thief had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. And finally, number four, AJ 
and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red sweater. And AJ and Penny are the attracted couple sitting on the couch. Okay, let's go ahead and listen, okay, to the track and you are going to tell me what are the correct responses. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and go part by part, and we're going to answer the first one. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Okay, very good. So what about number one? What will be the correct response? Emily is fairly, uh, Emily is fairly short and about 25. Okay, Emily is fairly short and about 25, you say. Very good. Excellent. Let's go ahead and listen to the second part. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Okay, that's Three. number two. Oops. All right. Okay, so number two, what would be the correct response? Steve is really tall. Uh, okay, le alcancé a escuchar que dijo Steve is really tall, ¿verdad, Geraldine? Porque se escucha cortado. Thank you very much. Okay, so Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. What about number three? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. 
Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Okay, so what would be the correct response in number three? The thief was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. Okay. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's okay. The thief was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. Okay. And the last one. <clears throat> Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Very good. So what will be the correct response? A.G. and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Mm -hmm. Are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Very good. Let's go ahead and check. And all your answers are correct. Okay. Very good. Now, it, this is something that has to do with um, appearance, right? Uh, when we were describing, you know, appearance. Number two, also, when we were uh, working with these sentences, right? When we describe, you know, um, people, right? AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch, right? And Mary is the woman wearing the, the, the black dress, verdad? And my parents are the, the ones talking with uh, the principal, at the school, right? So we were working with these sentences uh, previously, and now we put the two topics together, okay? What about in letter B? Letter B, we just did it, ¿verdad? Lo hicimos, uh, incluso creo que fue en la semana dos, ¿verdad? Instructions, complete the conversations and use the present perfects of the verbs given in brackets, right? So for this one, I don't know, let me open up the window a little bit. So I was saying, um, we have already answered this, right? We are using the um, a past participle of verbs, ¿verdad? Decíamos que la clave era que yo usaba past participle of verbs cuando estoy usando present perfect. Pero cuando estoy usando simple past, simple past, ¿verdad? And that we use simple past for completed actions in the past. Finished actions, right? And then uh, we have also present perfect, which is for actions that started in the past, but they have a connection with the present, okay? And here we have, right? Have you been to any good movie lately, right? Uh, yes, I have already seen three films this month, right? Has he ever eaten Thai food before? Thai, Thai food is so popular in other places and I have never tried it, right? And no, he has never had, right? He has never had, a, a, had it in his life, right? Then instructions, read the sentences, it's just the correct answer, right? We were saying that we use for and since for two different situations. We use for when we provide or we want to share the complete, you know, period of time, right? <laughs> okay. Then um, we use for for a period of time, for two years, for a month, for two minutes, for um, two days, for two years, right? That is the specific amount of time. And we use since to specify the beginning of a period of time, right? 
So since, since 2001, since the morning, since last week, since two hours ago, that etc. But I since to no, since two hours ago, no. Porque ego va con past. Quizás no podríamos combinarla ahí. Mejor since uh, two years, since uh, 1991, since Friday, since Tuesday, since last week. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Porque ego pertenecería más al simple past. Luego tenemos acá tres ejemplos, right? I lived in Boston. Mire, oiga, I lived in. Uno la D con la I. I lived in Boston for five years. I loved every minute I was there, right? Cada vez que usted va encontrando una consonante y una vocal que viene, haga las uniones. I lived in Boston five, for five years. I loved every, I loved every minute I was there, right? So you put it together. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year since 2001. So that is the beginning point, right? Patrick has studied Portuguese for a long time. He's a good speaker now, right? So this, those were the answers for a letter B, okay? Questions about that? I mean, el tema, porque yo sé que el examen ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Questions about the topic? No, bye. Let's move on to letter C. Okay, now what happens in letter C? Okay, it says read the following sentences and choose the correct words. Okay, so here we have a mix of different elements. Okay, so in number one, right? My brother, we have in, about, and at his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. So what do you think is the correct answer? My brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Very good. My brother is in his 20s, right? So whenever we are talking about the age, right? And we and we just don't know how to specify it or we don't know directly, you know, the, um, I would say the age, right? You can go ahead and guess. My brother is in his 20s. I don't want to specify his age. I just want to say, you know, in general terms, está en sus años, en sus veintes, ¿verdad? So my brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. What about number two? Tracy does, has, or is short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Has. Okay, Tracy has short, straight, black hair and blue eyes, okay? We are talking about characteristics, right? And when, when, when we are talking about characteristics, we have to use have or has, right? Phil's nephew is, has, or are five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. We're talking about height, altura, height. Mm -hmm. Phil nephew is five feet eight and has brown Bird and mustache. Mm -hmm. That is correct, okay? So when we are talking about height, cuando hablamos de estatura, usamos el verbo to be, right? So Phil's uh, nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache, okay? Very good. What about number four? Has Martin ever missed, climbed, or lost an appointment? What do you think? Has Martin ever missed, climbed, or lost an appointment? Lost. 
lost an appointment? Can I say that? ¿Puedo usar lost con appointment? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, this is a different one, right? Cuando queremos decir perder una, 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 una cita es missed. I missed an appointment, ¿verdad? Eh, that would be the correct phrase, right? Ha, has Martin ever missed an appointment? ¿verdad? ¿Ha faltado alguna vez? Más que todo así creo que se le ha faltado, ¿verdad? So has Martin ever missed an appointment? Okay, very good. What about number five? Cell phone. Okay, how many times have you lost your cell phone display? Okay. Then what about the next one, right? Have you ever ridden, driven, or drunk a truck? Have you ever driven a truck? Driven a truck, okay. Truck. Let's, uh -huh, truck. Let's see. And all of our responses are correct. You see? Okay, so what can we get from here? ¿Qué vamos a ver acá? Vocabulary, guys. ¿Por qué? If I am talking about age, si estoy hablando de edad o en, digamos, en esos diferentes eh, etapas, ¿verdad? Uso la, la preposition in, ¿verdad? She is in her 20s. She is in, is in her early 30s, right? Uh, she is in uh, her late 40s, ¿verdad? In, in, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, el, el, el stage, ¿verdad? ¿Qué más? When I'm giving, you know, characteristics. Cuando yo digo, tiene el cabello así, tiene los ojos así, ¿verdad? Etc. Uso have. Y como sabemos que have es un verbo irregular, si es tercera persona, uso has, como aquí. Tracy has short black hair, I mean, short straight black hair and blue eyes. So I'm talking about those features or characteristics that this person has. Then also, if I'm talking about height, cuando hablo de la altura de alguien, I use the verb to be, right? So Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache, okay? So if I'm talking about the height, there be. Then has Martin ever missed an appointment, right? A ver, eh, perderse, verdad, o ausentarse, verdad, eh, en una cita, okay? So has Martin ever missed an appointment, right? All the verbs, estos verbos, los tres son verbos regulares y terminan en ed. Bueno, estos dos, perdón, este último no, este es irregular, pero es missed, ¿verdad? How many times have you lost your cell phone, verdad? And have you ever driven a truck, ok? Ahí habían tres verbos, ¿verdad? Dos de ellos en pasado participio, pero solo uno hacía match con la oración, ¿verdad? Y era driven, ¿por qué? Ah, no, los tres, perdón, están en pasado participio, ok? Questions, guys? Preguntas sobre este punto? Questions? No. Okay. Now, let's take a look in here. Este lo hicimos juntos también, ¿verdad? It says rewrite and un unscramble, creo que querían decir ahí, unscramble sentences, right? So instructions, put the words in the correct order to make sentences of or questions, right? So it says instructions. Uh, number one, is gorgeous, dirty, and crispy hair really in? ¿Tá? Esa creo que causó un poco de revuelo ahí porque eh, estaba un poco complicada, ¿verdad? Contestarla. Entonces se los voy a mostrar acá. So you can see them. Okay, Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Por eso era importante el ejercicio anterior porque ahí podía ver usted el, el orden de los elementos, ¿verdad? Christy, uso verbo to be, ¿por qué? Porque estoy dando un adjetivo. Really gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. 
Uso la preposition in y luego la etapa, ¿verdad? In her 30s. Number two. Where mustache have some a dos glasses and so this al no más ver yo el dos sé que muy probablemente es una pregunta porque tengo el verbo where verdad entonces no es el verbo principal entonces me quedó does Sam wear glasses and have mustache verdad does Sam wear glasses and have mustache okay Then the next one, uh, red, Cindy, height, long, has, and is medium haired, okay? This is for this one, right? We organized it this way. Cindy has long, red hair, and is medium height, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí decíamos primero el, el largo, ¿verdad? Luego el color y el nombre, que es hair, okay? Then uh, one person next, the Jason couch, who's to sit in there, right? So this, this is a question. Why? Because I have who at the very beginning, right? I have who at the very beginning. Then I have here, who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Entonces, esa fue la pregunta que, que aprendimos a utilizar en las primeras secciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, questions about this one, guys? Preguntas de esta? Questions? Dígame, Lidia. Teacher, ¿será que de la última la puede enviar así al... Sí. Algo, o sea, porque fíjese de que yo la estuve respondiendo de, o sea, así como usted la estuvo haciendo el ejercicio pasado, que lo estuvimos practicando la última, sí. y no me la, o sea, siempre me tiraba error, 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 y no, no la podía corregir de ninguna mm. forma la última. Ah, no sé, quizás okay. por la... Uh -huh. Bye. Solo que sin, sin el question mark se lo quité ahí en la que le pasé porque aquí ya lo tiene. Entonces, si usted se fija en mi respuesta, no está el question mark, ¿verdad? Solamente la, ah, ni punto tampoco, no hay punto. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, así, así es tal cual la tengo en, el, en, el, en la respuesta, así se la mandé ahorita. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other question about these guys? Preguntas? No, okay, let's take a look in here. The last section, right? The reading section. It says, instructions. Read Sarah's email, then check four things she can do in her neighborhood, right? Well, first, let's go ahead and read, okay? I'm going to read it first, and then I can ask a volunteer to read it, okay? Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe and I am emailing you right now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There is a laundromat on our street and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Connie, no, come visit Sarah, right? Come visit Sarah. So can I have two volunteers to read the information? Do you want to try it? Nobody? No quieren leer hoy, chicos. Dígame, José Oscar. Va a leer. Mm. 
no se le escucha. ¿Me escucha, José Oscar? Irma Zuleima, ayúdenme con el primer párrafo y Jenny Margarita, ayúdenme con el segundo porque no le escuchamos, Oscar. Ajá. Ok. Hi, Nina. Again, with that, I moved in the, into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There, there are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnam, Vietnamese restaurant. Just around the corner. The food was delicious. Hasta ahí, teacher, o sigo. Eh, hasta. I am emailing you now. Okay. Uh, I, I want to, to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here for, for breakfast this morning. I come to these great coffee shops across. Across from my apartment, actually, it's an internet cafe, cafe so I emails you now. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, ¿me escuchan, teacher? Yes, we can. It's really convenient neighborhood. There's a lot of drummats on our street, and there are some interesting stores. To One store sells love of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommate to me there at the club, at the club, just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you for helping me. And I'm sorry, Oscar, que no se le escuchó el micrófono. But thank you very much. Now, voy a aprovechar la oportunidad para ver lo de linking, ¿verdad? La unión de sonidos, ¿ok? So, vamos a ver. Quiero ver. I'm going to use my tools from here. And I'm going to use this one. Vamos a usar este. Ok, it says, guess what? I moved into. Miren. Aquí tenemos una oportunidad de linking, ¿ve? I moved into, ¿verdad? I moved into my new apartment. New apartment. New apartment. I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of, ¿ve acá? There are lots of, there are, there are lots of different Restaurants here. Last night I ate at eight. Aquí I ate at a Vietnamese, verdad? At a Vietnamese. Aquí at a. I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner, right? Aquí esta T la puede unir con la siguiente. Ah, just around. Just around. Just around the corner. The food was delicious and I. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across, coffee shop across, coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an, it's an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now, right? It's really com no, uh -huh. it's really convenient, right? Um, um, I'm emailing you. It's really convenient, a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on. Laundromat on. Acabe. I know, I see no. Laundromat on. On our. Aquí también, ve. There's a laundromat on our street, and there are some interesting. Stores too. One store sells lots of. Aquí también, ¿ve? Lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from, you know, books from novel all over. 
from all over the world. And I, and my roommates told me, there's a dance club just two blocks away, blocks away, two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend, right? Come visit Sarah. Ok, entonces ahí va usted a escoger cuándo es que puede aplicar les, uh, linking, ¿verdad? Cuando usted tenga la oportunidad de unir el sonido de una vocal con el de una consonante o viceversa. Entonces ahí se aprovecha la oportunidad para hacer o practicar linking, ¿verdad? Preguntas, chicos, questions. Questions? No, bye. Let's move on here, ¿ok? Entonces, ya leímos, ahora nos venimos para acá. Number one, esta ya, la, ya las habíamos, bueno, sí, ya las habíamos hecho, ¿verdad? Sara Ken, de hecho, eso fue uno con el que tuvieron problemas, según recuerdo yo, que no les tomaba las opciones que ustedes ingresaban, pero era porque ya estaban establecidos lo que sí se podía, ¿verdad? Así que dice, number one, Sara Ken, que es la única, ¿verdad? Sara Ken, go dancing, go shopping send emails and wash and dry clothes okay that's what she can do only four activities from the list ¿Qué más había en la lista? read books eat venezuelan food exercise at a gym get a haircut right make travel arrangements see movies right so those were like the other options that you had available okay So, questions, guys, about the vocabulary words? Preguntas del vocabulario? No? No questions, okay. Very good. Well, and that is, you know, uh, most of the sections, right, in, 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 in number five. Dígame, Jenny, Margarita. Uh, Sí, teacher, eh, con respecto al vocabulario, en eh, vietnamita, no uh -huh. sé qué significa. Vietnam. Vietnamita, de Vietnam. Ah, ok. Thank uh -huh. you, teacher. You're welcome. Vietnamese. Uh -huh. Vietnamese would be como la, el, el adjetivo y la nacionalidad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I have never tried Vietnamese food. I have tried Taiwanese food. But what well, vegetarian Taiwanese food, and that's it. And Japanese food, pero no 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 directamente de un restaurante japonés, sino que de uh, you know a local restaurant, verdad? Entonces, I haven't tried like you know uh, original Japanese food, right? Solo la la versiones que tenemos por acá. I would like to try, but actually Thai food. And Vietnamese food are very popular. Son populares. They, it is said that they are delicious. Dicen por ahí que son, que es muy buena la comida. Have you tried, guys? What type of food have you tried? ¿Qué tipos de comida han probado? What type of food have you tried? China food. Chinese. Yeah, Chinese food. Okay, muy bien. ¿Qué otra han probado, chicos? Aparte de Chinese food. Aparte de Chinese food, any other one? No? Okay. Now let's go ahead and quickly, you know, ask uh, questions with have you ever, okay? With have you ever so we can complete the idea. ¿Verdad? Okay, se la voy a compartir. Bye. Look at the first uh, question. Se la voy a compartir aquí en el chat de, de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Un momento. Bye. Ahorita se las paso aquí en el chat. Intermedio, pre-intermedio, aquí está. Vaya, chicos, look at the chat, okay? I shared with you some questions, okay? And the first question that I have for you 
is, have you ever lost some money, guys? Ah, no, espérenme, ¿cuál les pasé? A o B. Es que tengo dos. Les pasé, have you ever lost? Sí, ¿verdad? Some money. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have you ever lost some money, guys? You can ask, answer with yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Right? Have you ever lost some money? Nobody? Okay, what about the next one? Ay, que se me hicieron las preguntas. Aquí está. Have you ever broken a bone? Have you ever broken a bone? ¿Se ha quebrado alguna vez un hueso? Have you ever broken a bone? No? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, dice Jenny. Okay. Have you ever been on a really exciting holiday in another country? No? Um, have you ever felt like giving up studying English, guys? ¿Alguna vez han sentido que se quieren dar por vencidos? Have you ever felt like giving up studying English? Giving up es eso, darse por vencido. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Dicen por ahí, okay, very good. And actually, um, you can take a break but you don't have to uh, stop, ¿verdad? No hay que parar porque, eh, I mean, it's it's a very good opportunity, right, for you to learn a different language, okay? Have you ever had a fight and lost, guys, at a school, right? Have you ever had a fight and lost? No, nunca? I did, I had one. No, no fue mi intención y andaba buscando, pero I have to uh, defend myself, right? But yes, it happened to me once when I was a little girl, obviously, right? I was very little. Okay, have you ever told a big, big lie to your parents, guys? Have you ever told a big, big lie to your parents? No? Okay. Uh, have you ever done anything illegal, right? I don't want I don't want to ask that to personal. Have you ever eaten something quite strange? Como lo más extraño, chicos, que han comido. Have you ever eaten something quite strange? No? Something quite strange, algo bien raro, así bien exótico. Nobody? Okay. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. What, Eugenio? What do you eat? I, I did it uh, chapulines in Mexico. Chapulines in Mexico. Okay. Really? And how do they in taste? Mexico. Chapulines on the, on the planche. Uh -huh. A la plancha. And do you light them? Uh, don't like <laughs> You didn't like them, okay? Yeah, actually, it doesn't sound yummy. <laughs> but anyways, okay, but it was something a, very exotic. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to pass the attendance, okay? And I will let you go. And let me see. I'm going to begin here with uh, Andrea. Oh, you're welcome, Geraldine. Thank you so much for your words, Geraldine. Very kind. You made my day today. <laughs> Thank you. Andrea Esther Acosta Hernández. No vino. Carolina Griselda Carzadilla Arias. Tampoco. David Enrique Rivera Calderón. No vino. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Present teacher. Gracias, Edgar. Edwin Giovanni, ah, no, Edwin Giovanni ya me contestó. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Jenny Elizabeth Hernández Maldonado. Present. Thank you. José Oscar Herrera Sanabria. No vino José Oscar. ¿Cómo no, verdad? Yo lo vi. Que no le sirve el micrófono, José Oscar. 
Eh, José, Oscar, aquí está. Eh, Merci, Esther Blanco, Viera. Present. Gracias. Y Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Present, teacher. Vaya, muchísimas gracias, chicos. Thank you very much. Dígame, Jenny. Okay. Teacher, ya me eh, había puesto mi asistencia. Ay, no ¿verdad, que, teacher, ¿Verdad que perdón. sí, no la mencioné? ¿Ah? No. Sí, a mí no me mencionó tampoco. Jenny Margarita, sí, vi que aquí que este, no mencioné dos nombres. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ah, pero es que ya les había puesto la, ya les puse la, la asistencia. Ajá. Solo mencioné los que no les había puesto. Ajá. Así que, don't worry, you have your attendance. Ajá. Well, guys, I have to go because I have another class, but thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day. Well, evening, porque ya se está acabando el día. A wonderful evening, and I wish you the best, okay, in the future. So keep up and just continue learning, okay? Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night, Marce. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take you. care. Bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. You're welcome, Jose Oscar. Bye-bye. I hope to see you soon. Yes, yeah, see you. You're welcome, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care.